We're here with Cody Hyde. Cody, can you tell us how this event is compared to other barrel racing events for you? You know, this, this is quite a bit different. We hauled three days from Idaho to get here just for this event. I saw, I saw something similar like this last year in Oklahoma City, and uh, it, it's nothing like we have at home, and that's why we hauled out here. You, you know, there's, there's a lot of money, there's a lot of pressure, it's new cults, it's, it's a real exciting thing, and I think it's gonna uh, be a wave of the future. The horse is Sudden Fame Dash. Tonight, folks, you're gonna see a lot of Dash to Fame horses, horses that have been sired by Dash to Fame, and here comes a lefty. They could run either to the left or to the right. All they've gotta do is turn three barrels and not knock them down. If they tip a barrel over, it's gonna be a five-second penalty. Cody High, Sudden Fame Dash is the horse. David and Tandy Ryder hoping for a 15-1. No, it's gonna be a 15-8-8-7 for draw number 21. Corey Breed loves next to run. The horse is She's an Easy Runaway tonight. Everybody chasing after Cassie Mowry in that 15154. The owner of this slot, draw number 22, a partnership of Breed Love and Hutchins. Corey Breed Love has run here in the Shelby Show place many times throughout his career, even though he does not have the experience of some of these veteran barrel racers. We all think he's going to do pretty darn good tonight, a pretty gray horse. And he's got two. Barrel's left clean. He needs a third barrel. He needs to head towards that alleyway and that timer line, trying to beat that 15-1 to bring home $100,000. Not quite enough. 15781, 15, for Corey Breedlove, and she's an easy runway. The sixth place hold is going to pay $10,000, so it's going to take a 15-5 right now to get into the money. And I know that Adam Roper wants that $100,000 paycheck. He wants to see that deposit in the bank. He touched the barrel. It's a legal turn, and it's still up tonight. Wow, Adam is flying, folks. He is wanting that 15-0 slot. He wants to just bury the competition. The barrel is still up. The third barrel is standing. He crosses the timer line. Ow! 15-4-6-7. I think that's going to put him in the money. Adam Roper, 15-4-6-7. The next horse to run, Famous Spender. Tandy Myers, draw number 24. The owner, Brian Gunder. He owns Circle G Arena. He's one of our sponsors of this program tonight, bringing it to you right here on RFD TV. Tandy Myers is looking down the alleyway. She wants a straight line towards that third barrel. Then she's going to veer in towards the first barrel and hope to wrap it tight as she tries to... No, the first barrel is down. As we're halfway through the pack, these jockeys know that if they tip a barrel, they're just not going to be in the money, so they're going to try to keep their young three-year-old horses together, and two barrels down, it's going to put her at the bottom of the pack, unfortunately, here tonight. Great Cowgirl 26-335 is the time. Here comes Karen Henry down the alleyway. Like we said, it's going to take three quick turns. They're going to need to turn that third barrel and really blast home to catch that 15-1. A little wide on the turn. Still going to be a really good time, I think. The 16-2-5-5. It was a nice run. It's not going to be enough tonight to get her a paycheck. 16-2-5-5. Up next is driver 26, Johnny Wooder. He's the owner and the jockey. The horse is Panama Tracks. And just like the rest, he's coming in. He is hoping to take home that $100,000 paycheck tonight. You can see he's quite a trainer, he's quite a rider. Johnny is going for broke tonight and hoping to see that $100,000 paycheck in his bank account at the end of the evening. He's gonna cross the timer line with a 15,985, not quite fast enough, but a 15,985, still a great time tonight. We're up to draw number 27, the owner and jockey, Becky Washburn Brown, Little C. Hartman is the name of the horse. We're still chasing that 15-1 of Cassie Mowry. $100,000 is the paycheck if you are to take first place tonight. 15,000, the last slot. Becky's gonna run to the left tonight, and she's gonna hope that by taking that horse backwards to most of the other riders, will give her a little bit of an advantage, but that's her second barrel and it's down. You can see she put her head down because she knew at this point the race is over with two barrels down, unfortunately. She's going to be at the bottom of the pack tonight, 25-7-5-1. She's got a great career. He's still ahead for this horse, Little C, Heartbeat. I'm here with Thomas Green. Thomas, tell me about your horse. Uh, the horse is Dash to Fame. He's a, he's a nice Dash, a coat out of Dash to Fame that we had purchased at Fort Smith from Bow Hill. And 
back in May, and he's really a nice horse. He's been a natural worker from day one. He likes what he does. He enjoys it. And really and truthfully, if we have a little luck tonight, he should have a good chance at it. Do you get nervous? No, it's just you go in there and give it your best, and whatever it's going to be is going to be. There ain't nothing you can do about it. And Janette, tell me how this event compares to others. This is a one-of-a-kind event. Uh, it's for the elite. It is really the uh, most exciting event that you'll ever go to. Up next, the Cowboy, the first ever uh, earn a million and then two million dollars barrel race against Talmadge Green. The owner of this slot is Triple N Ranch. They're from Milledgeville, Georgia. The horse is dashing to roses. Talmadge Green, when you're talking about nerves of steel, there is nothing that gets this Cowboy more excited than barrel racing, but the horse will never know it. Some people say the more you barrel race, the luckier you'll get. Let's see if the luck's going to pay off for Talmadge Green tonight. Wow, now that's the first barrel, folks. Dashing the Rose is making it to the second. He wants that 15-1 slot. He's going to shoot for a 15 -0. Look at Talmadge Green, the determination on his face. His horse's ears are forward. He's headed towards home. He's headed towards home. Look at that. There is your new leader, 15097, Talmadge Green, dashing to Roses. Draw number 29, Alicia Smith sat out back and saw Talmadge Green and Dash in the Roses run that 15097. She heads down the alleyway, the horses MJC Perks, Black Rose, and she's going to make a run for that money. She doesn't care that 15 0 is on the board. Oh, unfortunately, that second barrel goes down. And you can hear the disappointment in the crowd. They wanted to see someone upset Talmadge Green. And with that barrel down, she's going to stop the timer with a 22008. Now, Talmadge Green's older brother is Mike Green. He's one of the sponsors of this event, bringing it to you here on RFD TV. Southern Rose Ranch is where he resides with his lovely wife, Janelle. This is a Dash to Fame bred horse, Ain't to Fame. Dash to Fame, the number one barrel racing sire in the country, and nobody picks him better than Mr. Mike Green. He wants that $100,000 paycheck. Mike Green headed towards the timer line. 15576 15576 for Mike Green and Aim to Fame.